welcome back to another episode of the Blackpool Career Mode here on FIFA 22. We are now in 2022. I hope all you lot had a great New Year's. And uh, yeah, 2022 is the year that we are going to smash it. Everyone watching this video, myself included, all of you viewers, subscribers, everyone, we're all going to smash it this year, okay? Anyway, enough of the motivational talk. Blackpool are back. I did not forget about this series. I'm back after my little break over Christmas and I am ready to get promoted to the championship. We currently sit on top of League One after 31 games with 65 points. We are six ahead of Wickham in second and eight ahead of Swansea in third. If you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more. And if you don't want to miss a video, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. You'll get a notification whenever I upload. Let's get on with this. First game, we're at home to Oxford United. We're in the eighth minute here and Taylor up front for Oxford gets the ball back to Williams, into Brannigan, back to Taylor again. And that's a shot that he should really have got on target. And straight, pretty much straight from that chance we go down the other end here. Brandon Barker on the ball, playing it through to Guilherme Borges. He's completely clean through here and he's put it into the top corner. And just like that, after nearly going 1-0 down, we go 1-0 up. Into the second half in the 50th minute, Bodin playing a ball through to Taylor. He's on his own up front at the moment though, we've got three of our defenders back. He has got men getting forward with him though, he tries to cross it in, it's getting dangerously close to the goal and it hits the crossbar. And Oxford coming forward again here, they certainly have the upper hand at the moment. Cooper on the left hand side, cuts in onto his right foot, but that tackle from Checker Marnie though. But we're into the final minutes now and it looks like Oxford's chances to get an equaliser may have passed them as we're on the attack now looking for a second goal and Bergzor puts it over the bar but that is how the game ends we get the three points first game simulated it is a Papa John's trophy game away at Wigan do we progress no we lose 5-4 on penalties right at the death that's so annoying and now we have another simulated game, this time at home to Newport. This is a game that we really should be winning, hence why I'm simulating it. And we don't. Of course we don't. Of course we lose. Great. That six point gap is suddenly closing very quickly. Bristol Rovers at home. And it's Bristol Rovers with the early pressure. Eighth minute, Collins plays a ball inside to Clark. Clark shapes up for the shot and Darman has to adjust quickly to tip it over the bar. 28th minute now, we're coming forward, Barbosa who's playing up front in this game, plays it out wide to Bergzorg, Bergzorg on his right foot looking for the effort and it curls just wide of the post. Not long after 33rd minute, Collins playing the ball out wide to Nicholson, Nicholson now has Collins in the box and also other players reaching there, he crosses it in, Collins with the effort, it's blocked by one of our defence, I think it was Hendry and Darman claims it at the second attempt, that was an almighty scramble and I don't know how that stayed out. 38th minute and Collins running through again and Castro with a bit of a poor challenge there on the edge of the box. Now is that a free kick or is it a penalty? It's going to be a penalty. That's That should not have been a penalty. It looked like it was outside the box. Anyway, Collins to step up and a cheeky Penenka down the middle of the goal and Bristol Rovers lead 1-0. I'm still unsure whether that was a penalty or not. We've had pretty much nothing to shout about in this game so far and into the second half, the 60th minute, Timber playing a ball to Barbosa, sees the ball over the top for Brandon Barker, Barker's in and Barker scores to get us back level. 77th minute now, a bit of a loose pass from Barker but it deflects to Timber, Rodney on the ball trying to find space, it comes back for Brandon Barker again to James Brewer, sees Rodney on the edge of the area and he has a go and Belshaw tips it just wide of the post. Can we take the advantage from the resulting corner? Chekamani rises highest and again, Belshaw with a brilliant save. We're now right at the end here, 93rd minute. Rodney with the ball over the top. Jerry Eight has got a chance here and Belshaw makes a save again and keeps Bristol Rovers level. Can we score from the corner? Maybe, no, Gabriel handballs it. Well done. And that's it, that's the end of the game. James Belshaw in the Bristol Rovers goal has kept them in it, and we take a point apiece. Now here's a big game, we're back at Bloomfield Road once again, and we are facing off against Plymouth, who are in the playoffs and trying to catch us. 
And we make a quick start here in the third minute as Gabriel plays the ball down the line to Barker, who manages to steal the ball back off his opponent again. And now we've got bodies flying into the box. What a cross from Barker! But what a save from Cooper from the header of Jerry Yates. 21st minute now, Barker gives it to Timber on the edge of the area. He has a go, and I think Cooper got a touch on that onto the post. The goalkeepers have suddenly become all Manuel Neuer, and now Plymouth are completely through as well, but Darman comes out with a fantastic tackle there and gets the ball cleared. Plymouth coming forward now on the ball, Danny Mayer. He receives it back from Hardy, and Darman has to make a save of his own. 57th minute now, Bergsall playing it inside to Blanco. Blanco to Timber. Timber looking for Borges who gets it onto his left brilliantly. But another thing that was done brilliantly was that save from Cooper. This match has been all about the goalkeeper so far. And Cooper at full stretch palms it wide. 79th minute now, it's still nil-nil here. Can either team get the breakthrough? At the moment, it's looking more likely to be Plymouth. And it is Plymouth who get the breakthrough. It's Ennis who puts them 1-0 up. And then they just go and get another, just to take the mick a little bit. And that's how the game ends. Lovely. One final simulated match before we get on to the live commentary bit here. Peterborough away from home. Two relegated clubs from the championship. That's quite irrelevant now as we're more than halfway through this season. So who's going to win out? Us, by a distant margin of 4-1. Lovely stuff. We have a new youth player amongst our ranks. His name is Adrian Kolodzied. Kolodzied? Kolodzied. I'm going to have to learn how to say that because he's going to be pretty good by the looks of it. But as you're probably aware, we didn't have the greatest month of February. Uh, we only got one win in the entire month. We got knocked out of the uh, Papa John's Trophy on penalties to Wigan. We also lost to Newport, drew with Bristol Rovers and lost to Plymouth, which was a pretty big loss. However, we've also got lucky in the fact that Swansea and Plymouth have continued to drop points, so we're still seven points clear, with a game in hand over Plymouth as well. So in this game, in this game, this episode, no, no, start again. In this portion of this episode, we have Doncaster at home, Rotherham away and Wickham at home. I'll be playing all three, of course, so the only three games there. So we are now at home to 22nd place Doncaster, and as you can see, everyone else, or most others, have already played. Swansea won, Plymouth won, Charlton drew. So it's only four points now, but if we win, we're straight back up to seven points again. It's been a long time since, since I've done this. The last time I recorded a live episode, or a live portion of an episode of this, was the 1st of December. Today is the 30th. And if this is a bit of a kit clash, I can only apologise. I didn't expect it to clash quite as much as it is doing. Here's Hewiller, he's free on the left hand side, but because it's FIFA 22 AI, he's just not going to cross it in, is he? Horton's going to try it though. Header's not away. Though do inside for close, and it's Hewiller. Gets it in the middle. Oh no, I thought I had the ball to clear it away. And Hendry's gone straight through the man. And it's a penalty to Doncaster. Oh, it's going to be Okenabiri to step up. And hit the post. Get that out of there, Hendry. Get that out of there. Big Zorg, he's got it. Oh, what a ball that is. Oh, Barker. He had a defender with him, but it was definitely a fantastic chance. What a cross that was from Bergsorg. Great dribbling from Yates there. He took about three or four players out of the game. Barker puts it in. Barbo said it straight to the keeper. We just can't get him in the back of the net. Then again, we can't even. We're only just starting to create the chances to put them in the back of the net. Barbosa. Barker on the outside. Here we go. Brandon Barker. We're going to have a shot. What? I put like one bar of power in that. What do you mean? It's Big Zorg. Oh my god. That's it. That's the end of the game. That is the end of the game. Oh dear. It was one of them games where it felt like the opposition had more players on the pitch than I did. Every time I went forward, they had everyone back. And every time they went forward, they had everyone forward. And with every passing game that we don't win, the board get less and less happy with me. Which I don't get, because we're still five points clear at the top of the league. This game sometimes. Anyway, we've got Rotherham away next. We need a better performance. I'm sorry, my brain's a bit of a mush right now. I think one of my friends on Facebook's just been hacked. So that's why I'm a little bit distracted. <laughs> oh, it's a great ball. Oh, he should have put it in. 
Barlasa should have put that one in. Our defence was absolutely nowhere. Big Zorg back to him. Timber. Borges. Rodney. I've hit it too hard. I've hit it too hard. Oh, my days. What am I doing? That should have been 1-0 right there. Chagamani! Oh, dear. <laughs> He's hacked him down a bit there, hasn't he? Barlosa whips it in. Should be good. Yes, Hendry. Great clearance. Great improvisation. Still not fully clear yet, though. And Darman's come out to try and claim that, and he's done it well. Oh, no! No! What a stupid idiot I am. And it's a straight red as well. It's not even a second yellow. Oh, what an idiot I am. Why did I do that? Now, the last game was one where I felt like the opponents have more players on the pitch. This time, the opponents do have more players on the pitch. Well, that ball has somehow still reached Bergsorg. I don't know how. Here's Antonio Blanco with an effort. Punched away by Johansson. Barker wins a header. Here we go. Rodney. He's got Connolly still up with him. Callum Connolly. He stayed up after the corner and he's forced another one. <laughs> Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. It's Coyote through, and he's blasted it over the bar. This game should not still be nil-nil. We've got time for one more opportunity. Can we... No, we can't. We can't even keep the flipping ball. Why don't I just shut up? Well, and if I did do that, then the video would be a bit boring, wouldn't it? That's a great tactical foul. <laughs> I'll take that. It's Barlasa who has it, and it's straight into the hands of Darman. And for the second game running, we've drawn nil-nil. Final game of this episode. It's arguably the hardest one of the three of this particular portion. And we've drawn the other two nil-nil. So that's going to be fun. We've got Wickham at home. But yeah, Wickham at home, leaving nothing on the table. Let's go and smash them. Yates, Borges through. Borges with the hit. Oh, what a save! By the goalkeeper. How has he managed to tip that one over? Lost a bit of space here. Borges can hit them from range, but the goalkeeper can also save them. Gabriel, that's not really where I wanted that to go, but Big Zorg! Oh my days, are you kidding me? You're actually kidding me now. Here's Borges, have a hit. The goalkeeper makes his 25,000th save of the game. Here we go, let's get people forward. Yes, Jerry Yates is in there! <laughs> Finally, we've got a goal! Finally! It's been coming for three games, and we finally, finally got it. Jerry Yates is the man who gets it. It's 1 0 to Blackpool. Finally. That's great play from Bergsorg. Blanco, Borges! Get in! Get in! That is it! 2 0. What a strike from Borges! That's been coming. We've had a few long-range efforts, and finally one of them's gone in. Come on! A few dips later. So, I don't know how much of what... I don't know how... I've just had the recording paused, and I don't know how long it's been paused for. Oh, no, that's no good. That is really no good. So, because I don't know how much I've just lost recording-wise, we've just beaten Wickham 4-0. Um, yeah. Really, really good results. Um, Borges got two. I can't remember who got the first one. And Dunlop got one. <laughs> yeah, that's me being an idiot. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, no, not yet. It's not because I've lost the recording of the table as well. We're now five points clear of Swansea because they drew against Plymouth as well. So the points gap has increased slightly. We've got one more month of the season left. Six more games, no, seven more games left. Can we get a win? Or can we get a win? Can we win the league? I'm all over the place, man. This episode's been a mess. Or at least this live recording portion. There's been so much going on whilst I've been recording this bit of the episode. It's been ridiculous. But anyway, I'm going to end it now and just get cut. <laughs> Until next time, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more. And if you don't want to miss a video, then hit that little bell next to the big red subscribe button. You'll get a notification whenever I upload. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Peace. Let's finish this off. This has been a mess.